Okay, Mr. Shopley, I wanna talk about your irons really quick. So when we started, when you joined Callaway, you were still in your old OEM irons, and then we actually transitioned you into the Apex Pro, which we call Double Dots, which was kind of the first Xander iron, which then became TCB, right? So this is essentially your iron. Like it was designed around you, you were the kind of the guy. So talk to me really quick about Apex TCB, what you like about it, just any features that you kind of, you kind of landed on and why you play it. Yeah, for me, irons are, I feel like it's kind of simple. We started, I think the reason I had to, get such special care uh, to have my own irons made, I guess, was sort of the offset. Right. I remember looking at the original offset and it looked like it was a little too much to me or sort of what I was used to playing growing up. So these have a lot, these are still have some obviously, but a lot less I'd say. Right. And from there, pretty, I don't know a lot about bounce profiles for irons, but not too much bounce on it. I feel like, you know, for some guys, if, if they're, steep or shallow it, it may affect sort of how they deliver it through the ground but for me i mean i i use the same some guys change irons when they go overseas when they're playing on you know super soft or wet ground or you name it typically overseas when it's really firm but for me i feel like i can play these irons anywhere so i'm really comfortable with how they go through the ground i love how they sound this this last edition or two editions maybe have been nice with this little weight plate i mean if you feel like you need to it's hard to make an iron adjustable, right. and this is as as adjustable as an iron can get because obviously you can bend it around however you'd like, um, which will change the bounce profile a little bit. But then the weighting, it, the weighting deal in the backs, you know, it can change spin quite a bit. Yeah. So what I've always noticed with you, and we've talked about this on camera before, like you kind of fall in between shallow and steep depending on the club, right? So depending on the day too, sometimes. <laughs> correct. So especially with the changes you made with Como, but I felt like the the coolest thing that you've done building all this speed and doing the swing changes is your your launch conditions have not changed at all we haven't really touched your bag i think we took your driver from minus one to to neutral yeah it was kind of the only thing right so this iron and it's kind of predominant feedback from the tour is just that they're just obviously very very simple but you, you mentioned the sole just enough bounce to get it through the turf just enough just a little enough bounce on on tight lies so um so yeah, I mean, this we're taking this to market. Really excited. All the gearheads are going to love it. But this is essentially a Xander Shoffley iron, the TCB. This is as close to a Xander designed iron as we will have. Um, why do you go with the raw? I've always wanted to ask you that. They offered it when we started. They're right. like, do you want us to finish it? Or we can just kind of not finish it and it'll, it's going to rest up a little bit. Um, I don't know. It's got sort of more of a vintage look, I guess. And it's not too shiny. I mean, to each his own the less glare I can have on my club face when I'm playing, you know, based on if it's one shot in the sun where I might get a little too much off the club face when I'm sitting there. Right. Uh, you know, in one in, in one tournament in an entire year, then I'm going to just play the raw the raw version of it. So overall look just looks a little bit, you know, I don't think it looks dirty. I think it looks more vintage. No, it just looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, some people like it really shiny and, and want their clubs, to, you know, be noticed and so for me this is kind of right up my alley it's funny that raw the raw ones are the ones that get noticed so like because you have the tcb raws i had to have my xander iron tcb raw <laughs> so uh anyway that's tcb in a nutshell uh he's obviously done a lot of work with these irons uh but they will be coming to the market very very soon that's xander johnny that's tcb we're out of here